Hello everyone, this is Robert Gephardt once again. Today I wanted to talk to you about something called analysis paralysis. It has a nifty name and that's why I chose it. Well, it does have a nifty name, but that's not what I, why I want to talk about it. What it entails is being too scared to do something because you're afraid you're going to make a mistake. I've seen this a lot, starting with me. When I was first starting out as a translator, I was very scared to contact new clients, especially end clients. I was very scared to contact new types of clients, clients that have new types of translations or through a different website or medium or talk to them face to face or call them because I was afraid I would say or do the wrong thing. And the fact is I did. I completely said wrong things, wrote the wrong things, but I also learned that everyone does that. Everyone makes mistakes in, in translation world or in any other world. No one who's made it has done a clean job of it. You're going to make mistakes. Live with it and accept it. Well, here, let me, let me share some mistakes that I made. Oh, where do I start? When I first started sending out emails, I should write up a template that I can just tweak here and there every now and then, and then I can send them out to everyone. The first time I wrote this template, I was, I, I was writing it to a specific person. I still remember the name, Sabine. And so I wrote, hello Sabine, blah, 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 blah. And I had this template and I decided I would tweak here and there in case it's for legal translations or depending on the length or this, that, and the other. Anyway, I totally forgot to take off hello Sabine. It was, I mean, probably weeks before I realized that I'd been sending all these emails out to Sabine, even though I was sending them out to other agencies. Funny thing is, even during those weeks, I got responses back. I guess people didn't notice or didn't care. I had typos because I send out my letters in English and Italian. I remember my Italian version, I had a really bad mistake. Actually, my English version too, I had for your consideration, something like that. Anyway, an F-O-R for, and I had spelled F-O-U-R, like a completely stupid mistake. So anyway, you're always going to make these mistakes. You cannot beat yourself up about it. You can't say, well, I guess I wasn't ready. You just have to accept it and move on. Because the, the important thing is, even worse than making any of those mistakes or all of those mistakes is not doing anything, being paralyzed out of fear. Usually what people tell themselves is, I'm not ready yet, I need to prepare more. You do not. You don't need to prepare more. Right now, if you're watching this video, you're ready. Because the best way to learn, the best way to get prepared is by sending these emails out. Figure out what to do. Get feedback. You need to put yourself out there. You learn nothing by just doing research and then not acting on it. You need to start sending stuff out. Do not get paralyzed because that's the worst mistake you can make. Even worse than having typos in your emails like I did. During all this time, by the way, I did still get responses and I, and I definitely got jobs. So nothing's going to be perfect. Don't let that stop you from trying to get a new job and putting yourself out there and contacting perspectives. Just not contacting them because you're quote unquote not ready yet. That's the worst mistake you can make. Just go out there and do it. You will make mistakes. I can guarantee you that you'll make mistakes. They're a rite of passage. They've happened to everyone. And so that means you can learn from the mistake. And from that point on, trust me, you're never going to make them again because they really stick with you. So anyway, that's about it. I wanted to encourage you to just get out there and not be paralyzed by being overprepared. That's called analysis paralysis. Paralyze yourself because you want to analyze more and more. Researching, analysis, and all that is great, but while you're doing stuff, not instead of doing stuff. So you need to get yourself out there. That's about it, and I hope you found this useful. If you did, please remember to click that like button because it always helps out. And if you want more information, tips, tutorials, tricks, tidbits, all about freelance translation or freelancing in general, then feel free to subscribe because then you will keep receiving these videos straight to your doorstep or to your computer screen where it is right now, right there. Hopefully they can help you out. So I'll talk to you next time. Thanks. Bye. Savidum.